headed to the Grand Prismatic Springs. And that's the Yellowstone River. We got separated from the rest of our family. All right, gang, it's our first full day in Yellowstone National Park. Let's talk about what we have on the agenda. Julie, what we got planned today? Well, the first thing we're going to do is go look at Grand Prismatic Spring. And we're going to walk around it. And then we're going to drive a little bit and go to the Prismatic Trail. And we're going to hike there. How and, long are we going to hike? Uh, maybe a mile or so. Hey, Julie. Hey, guys. I think I see a bison. It's our first bison in Yellowstone. You want to pull over? Okay. Let's do it. was pretty neat uh, we were talking about what we're doing today what are we doing after the prismatic after we go see the prismatic trail we're going to head to old faithful um, that's not really that far away so so far we've driven what? about yeah. an hour 30 minutes to get to the prismatic trail awesome. after we um, get to the prismatic trail remember we're going to go just a little bit further to get on that hike yeah but after we finish that hike the next thing we do is hop back in our car and go from the Prismatic Trail to Old Faithful. Uh, how long is that? About 10 minutes. That's it? Yeah, it won't take very wow. long at all. But all right. I hear we might get stuck in traffic, so we'll have to see. So, all right. Old Faithful is what? Out to the farthest southern point or not of our trip? Oh, no. No? It, no, just all get right. started. All right. Look at all that steam coming out. Headed to the Grand Prismatic Springs, and that's the Yellowstone River. It goes throughout the whole park. See the waterfall? Yeah. This is also known as Midway Geyser Basin. Grand Prismatic is just a part of it. Not predictable. It's like old faithful. What? What do you say? Same guy. So boiling. Clear. Below track. They come in here in the winter to keep themselves warm. Look at that water like 200 feet. I bet they don't get too close. This is the Grand Prismatic. Don't touch it. Why? It's just fun, Dad. You could burn yourself. You're not supposed to. See the bison trail still. And we're going to climb up to the top of that hill and look down to see what the prismatic looks from the top because that's where you can see all the colors. That's just steam from what was the name of my geyser over there? Excelsior. Excelsior geyser. trail to the grand prismatic overlook it's pretty flat now all of a sudden of course it's an overlook so to get to an overlook you gotta go up right bobby yeah Woo.
Yeah. That's where we were walking just a, a little bit ago. Yeah. The Grand Prismatic Spring in Yellow Spring, Yellowstone National Park is the largest hot spring in the United States and the third largest in the world. It is named by geologists for its striking colors in the prisms of red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Interestingly, this spring has been called the place where hell bubbled up. You might think this is still true if you get too close. The spring discharges an estimated 560 gallons of 160 degree water per minute. We got separated from the rest of our family. They are taking the Fairy Trails lollipop loop. So we're hoping we can time it up and see this is like a 1.6 there and back three miles and um, meet up with each other. And we did not bring our bear spray, so we're hoping that these folks scared them all away. With our family, they took the short fairy, fairy falls uh, trail also. So we did not even get to fairy trails fall, but they promised to show us the pictures. At least we got to meet up with them and we can go and get back in the car and hopefully Old Faithful is not super crowded, but it probably will be. Let's see, what time is it, John? 10 o'clock? 11 o'clock. Okay, parking lot's getting pretty full. Um, and so that's another hint to get here early. One mile from Old Faithful. Expecting a crowded parking lot, or we might have to park on the street. What's your prediction? We may have to walk a mile. Here we are at Old Faithful in Yellowstone. In case you haven't heard, Yellowstone sits on top of the Earth's largest volcano. One of the signs of this volcano is that every day there are minor earthquakes in Yellowstone. Typically, tourists cannot feel those earthquakes, but once in a while, they can. Another sign of the volcano are these geysers, and in particular, Old Faithful. Below Old Faithful, there is a chamber that gets filled up with rainwater and about every 90 minutes, the heat from the volcano heats up the water in that chamber so much that it will escape from a five inch gap in that chamber and out comes Old Faithful every 90 minutes. Excitement. <laughs> right? <laughs> Person was taking a picture right in front of it. Really? I didn't even notice it was right behind him. Keep it doing. John, you better follow the rules. <laughs> We 
Yeah, they wanted people to stay away from it. Tell us not to go outside. Tell me to go outside. Who, outside. Alicia told you to go outside? Make a hole, make a hole, Navy Turn, make a hole. Thank you. Thank you. Another one. Wonder where. It looks longer than it really is. Famous last word. <laughs> and eventually we're gonna go up hopefully to this observation point and then we can see Old Faithful blow again. Maybe, if we time it up correctly. We're gonna start walking around, seeing all the little geysers. This is the upper geyser basin. more faithful than you know.